this is the drafting lab. There's the window wall. You can see the two windows on it. There's the entrance to the room behind it and to the door that goes out in the hall. This is the room behind the drafting lab. There are the cabinets and the door entering the lab. And then that's the entrance to the storage room, which is just a junk room. So I want to sketch the drafting lab, the room behind it, and the storage room. This is quarter inch grid paper, and each of these increments is one inch. I can assign any length that I want this inch to represent. I can make this one inch equals a foot, one inch equals two feet, one inch equals five feet. The length that I choose will depend on the size of the room that I'm sketching. The drafting lab is about 30 feet by 30 feet. So if I use the scale, one inch equals five feet, then here is how much room one wall would take up. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. That's a lot of space on this paper, and it might not leave me enough room to draw the room behind it. So what if I go with one inch equals six feet? Then this is six, 12, 18, 24, 30. So one wall will take up this much room. So let's go with that scale. One inch equals six feet. Now, if this is zero and this is six feet, then right in the middle is three feet. And right in the middle between the zero and three is one foot six inches. And between the three and the six is four foot six inches. So let's start by drawing the back wall. We'll start it here. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. Now let's draw the wall perpendicular to it. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. And I know there's an angle in the wall here, but let's ignore that for now and just sketch the outline of the room. Now, let's estimate the angle of the door. And we'll erase this. And before we go further, let's put some thickness on the wall. Now should I draw the line inside or outside of this line? And I don't think it matters as long as you keep the dimensions straight and you're consistent. Now as we stand here and look at the door, it's hinged on our right and it opens out. So that's what we'll draw. And there's another door here. And as we look at it, it's hinged on our left and it opens into the space beyond. On this side, we have a window here, and we have a window here, and we have a post in the middle. We don't have anything on the back wall. You don't draw tack boards and things that are attached to the wall. 
and we don't have anything on this wall. Now the space behind us also has an angle right there. And it's about 5, 10, 15, 20 feet long. In the hallway, these walls are aligned, so don't draw one bumped out past the other. And these walls are aligned too. In here, we have cabinets we have a sink and we have overhead cabinets and they're drawn with a dashed or hidden line because they're above the five foot cutting plane. We also have a door that opens in. And along this wall, there is a storage room. And its door is hinged on the left as we look at it, and it opens in. Now you can put the furniture in the room. There are drafting boards along this wall. There are drafting boards opposite them. And there are drafting boards over here. And my table is over here. In this room, we have a lot of equipment along this wall. We have lockers along this wall. And we have flat files over here. So that's how you would sketch a floor plan of three adjacent spaces.